My name is Harry Rees. I'm a social psychologist at the University of Rochester. I did my undergraduate studies and graduate studies in New York City, at where, which is also where I grew up. I went to graduate school to study psychology and I had no idea that you could study relationships um, in psychology. Um, I was always interested in the topic and shortly after I received my PhD, I discovered that you could actually make close relationships the focus of one's research. And ever since then, that's been what I've studied. I study all kinds of things about close relationships and not just romantic relationships, by the way. I also study friendships, even work relationships, um, even sibling relationships at times. Um, although the focus of our work is mostly romantic relationships and in particular marriage and other forms of cohabitation. I'm very much interested in more or less anything that can help us better understand what makes a close relationship successful, what makes it work, what makes it satisfying, and of course what makes it not satisfying, as well as the factors that contribute to the stability of close relationships. Well, one of the things that we and other researchers have learned over the past uh, number of years is that close relationships are incredibly important to health, to well-being, to emotional well-being, and more or less to just about everything that matters in life. In fact, I would go so far as to say that if one is interested in the topic of what makes a human being happy, productive, and feel like they're living a meaningful life, it's their close relationships more than any other factor. You know, nobody ever said, I should have spent more time at the office on their deathbed. Um, and I think that really summarizes what's really important. Having successful, satisfying relationships gives people a gigantic head start on living a meaningful, productive, and happy life. One of the things that I wish our volunteers knew is just how important relationships are to their well-being. Sometimes we get volunteers who feel like, yeah, yeah, relationships are important, but they're not really what's important. What's really important is your job and your health and your children and all of that. And what they sometimes don't realize is just how important relationships are to those very things. To be happy in life, you have to have successful relationships. To raise your children successfully, you have to have a good relationship with them. And even to do well in your job at work, you have to be able to connect with the other people you're working with. So I wish people realized that when they participate in our studies, that we're actually looking at something that's incredibly important, not just to, in the domain of close relationships, but really across all of the domains of life. I'm, I'm quite passionate about the topic of relationships simply because they are so incredibly important. They affect all, kind, all different aspects of our lives. And I, I was really excited when I found that you could actually study relationships with a psychology degree because in, in point of fact, I've been interested in relationships for as long as I can remember. Even in grade school, I was paying attention to the relationships between the different children in, in my classroom. And when I discovered that you could bring a scientific approach to understanding relationships, I would really felt like this is what I wanted to make my life's calling. Many people think that relationships can only be understood from the point of view of let's say a poet or a novelist and in point of fact over the last 50 years we've seen that that's not true that you can actually bring a scientific lens to the study of relationships um, this has been recognized recently for example uh, vivek murthy the surgeon general of the united states um, last year put out a report about the state of loneliness and the importance of loneliness um, to, to the welfare of Americans. And if you read that 100 plus page report, you see that it's chock full of scientific research that we really do understand a lot more about what loneliness is, 
why it's so important and how to go about curing it from the scientific research that's been done over the past several decades. Research Match has been a phenomenal tool for us. Um, psychology used to be criticized because it was the psychology of the college sophomore, and there may have been some truth to that at one time, but that's certainly not true anymore. What Research Match allows us to do is to access a sample of individuals for our research of all different ages, of all different socioeconomic strata, of different races, of different locations, of different ages. And by doing that, we can really get a representative idea of what people are really like and, and not just um, a select group of volunteers who might be taking a psychology course at a university.